The Array.Push method allows you to add one or more elements at the end of the array. And it also returns the new length of the array. Let's see how that works in code. We have a numbers array which has 1, 2 and 3 in it. Let's say we want to add 4. So we can push the 4. And now if we console.log the numbers array, you can see here on the right we have the array 1, 2, 3 and 4. What if we want to add multiple arrays? Well, we could either call the push method again with another number, for example 5, or we can put multiple parameters in the push method, like 4 and 5, and you can see it's the same. Or we can add 6, 7, 8, as many parameters as you want. And as I said, it will return the total length of the new array. So we can store that in a variable, uh, total for example, and now if we console.log this new variable, you can see we get 8, which is the length of the array. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!